In this lecture, we will talk about indexing. To understand the concept of indexing, just uh, we will see an example of a textbook. If you go through a textbook, at the end of the textbook, you find indexing pages, where the keywords that are used in the textbook are stored, along with their, the page numbers where the keywords are being used. You can also observe that uh, a particular keyword may be used in one page or it is used in several pages. So all the page numbers are listed over there. So what is the advantage of that? If you want to know whether a particular uh, keyword is used in the textbook or not and where it is present, simply you go to the index, you search through the index in an alphabetical order because they are ordered in a ordered lexicographical ordering. Uh, search through that lexicographical ordering and you identify the uh, keyword if it is present and you also know where that it is present, in which page it is present. Simply go to that page instead of going through the entire textbook, maybe it has a thousand pages. Instead of going through the entire textbook, you can directly go to the page where it is present. This is exactly what indexing will do to a database as well. Again, let us talk about a database example. Let us consider a database consisting of uh, information regarding the water IDs or water, water information. Imagine there are 10 lakh records. The water information may be stored in the form of name of the water, gender, state where, it is, where he or she is present and uh, set another information. Now, if I want to know whether how many waters are there with age above 70, what do you do? Basically, we have seen in the last classes uh, how the data is, records are stored. Let us assume that 10 records are stored in a page. So, for 10 lakh records, 1 lakh pages are there. And uh, let us assume that 2 pages are there in each file. So, 50,000 files. So to, to know whether the how many waters are there uh, with age greater than 70, I have to search through all these 50,000 files. How much time it takes and it's a useless process. So there should be a, a mechanism to deal with such kind of things. In another example, I have given the roll number, marks and percentage of attendance of students as well. Suppose if you want to know how many students are there, whose percentage, is, percentage of attendance is greater than 90, what do you do? Should I search through all the records of the students? Or if I want to know where the marks ranges are in a particular range and attendance percentage is above that particular range, should I go through the entire file or is there a mechanism where I can quickly get to the records where they are actually present? So this is exactly what indexing comes into picture, where com indexing comes into picture in databases and uh, we'll study the concept of indexing in the rest of this lecture. And uh, more formally, an index can be thought of as a data structure that stores the information regarding the record and where it is actually present, where the memory address or where it is actually present, ID. And a search key is the value of the attribute or set of attributes to look up in the records is known as a search key. Sometimes the uh, index can be stored in the form of a key together with the record ID or key together with record ID list, just as in the example of the textbook where the keyword along with the number of pages. So here also key along with the record IDs can also be list of record IDs can also be stored. This is the basic concept of uh, indexing and we will see in detail. Indexes can be built in several ways. Uh, ordered indices is one of, one of such uh, index building where the index is created based on a particular attribute in a particular order either in ascending or descending or lexicographical ordering or some other predefined order because the records that are inserted into the database may be in a particular in any order because they, they may be inserted by the common public or sometimes through some other web form we do, where we don't have any restriction on the order in which they are inserted. But once they are inserted, we need to have a processing uh, where we need to store the information in a particular order. For example, if I take marks of the students, and uh, it is better to store the marks, index on marks in a descending order or ascending order for that matter. Similarly, if I want to store the information of age, again, the index may be built, in, index may be created on the date of birth date of birth in an ascending order with respect to time. Like this, we can create index in any particular order 
though the actual records may be in any order but the index on those attribute values are created in a particular order so what is the advantage whenever there is a query on the number of students who are above 70 so immediately based on the indexing first we can search on the index uh, where the records are stored 70 and above because they are in the ordered, ordered form so from that we can quickly go through the values and uh, where the records are present and we can fetch those records this is how the order indexes are useful and there is another form uh, is a uh, hash based indexing if the record number of records are very huge then uh, storing the entire set of records I mean inde indexes for each of the attribute values is a useless thing because it is going to create one more uh, uh, set of values instead of that we can create buckets and uh, information regarding the bucket can be stored a mathematical function called a hash function used is used for this purpose and if you want to create a hash based index on a particular attribute first we use that mathematical function and create a hash value so whenever a particular attribute value is uh, matching that hash value that record is stored and the record information is stored in that bucket this is how all the records are distributed into the buckets uh, all the record information is uh, distributed into the buckets and whenever there is a query uh, particular on a particular value of the attribute again we will compute the hash value of that and uh, we will search the bucket in which the corresponding hash value is matching so that our uh, search is restricted to only those that bucket this minimizes our search time this is also is uh, one of the ways in which we create the indexes now once we understand an index uh, the next question is uh, how many types of indexes can be built and what are the parameters that governs a best index or a better index so if you go through the, uh, the parameters actually four or five parameters are there the first one is access type what type of access that it provides to the actual record from the index is this directly uh, are we able to go to the record or are we going to the page where it is present or are we going to the bucket where it is present that kind of uh, access type is uh, is going to dictate the efficiency of the uh, index that we create and uh, another thing is access time the time it takes to find uh, the corresponding record uh, give, from the index given an index that is also a dictating factor and uh, insertion time uh, suppose a new value is inserted into the actual database and, uh, and a particular attribute index is already created and a particular record is inserted into the database then this index has to be updated because already an index is already created on a particular attribute and a particular value is, is updated in the database now we need to update the index as well so the index has to be updated so how much time it takes to update the index because if there is a query in between if the index is not updated or if the database is updated it is going to be useless so how much time it takes to update the index is also an important factor same is the case with the deletion factor also if a particular record is deleted how much time it takes to delete the particular index value in the indexing page so all these things uh, comes into picture and uh, space overheads how much space it occupies the index uh, how much space it occupies suppose a database consists of 1000 records and uh, the index will also take same size as that of the table then it's going to be useless because you're creating more you're occupying more space so we need to devise a mechanism where it, the indexing should take as less space as possible and uh, it should uh, access we should be able to access the record as quickly as possible and uh, insertions and deletions are more efficient this is how we look at into the parameters that governs the indexes uh, some more types of indices that uh, we can study uh, first we we'll let us try to understand the basic concepts of indexes further uh, uh, there is a concept called index sequential files where the files are stored in accordance with the order of a particular key value of an index then the set of files are called index sequential files and in the point of view of an index if uh, an index is called a cluster index cluster index if uh, Host H key values are same as that of the order of the files in a sequential order of the file then the corresponding index is called uh, cluster index 
and uh, dense in the index an index entry appears for every record value for every search key value that is records appear uh, for every search key value in the index this is as good as storing the uh, equal information corresponding to a particular attribute of uh, all records sometimes we may require that and uh, sparse index where we don't uh, store the index values of all the records but only certain percentage of the record information is stored based on that we can get the remaining search of uh, record IDs. For example, if uh, a collection of records are there which are ordered according to a particular attribute, a set of uh, records ordered at a, in a particular attribute, then the first record among such things can be taken and the attribute value of the first record can, uh, can be indexed. So that once we reach that, we can go through that because the, all the remaining records are ordered uh, with respect to that attribute value. In such cases, dense index is enough to store the values. And uh, multi-level multi indices where indexes are built, again, if the number is huge, uh, searching through the index also takes times. So indexes or indexes can be built. So second level index can be built. They are called multi-level indexes. So we'll first uh, go through the second level index, then correspond identify the corresponding um, first level index, then actual records are being searched. This is uh, sometimes we may do that. This is called multi-level indexing. And uh, composite search key values. All the time the indexes may not be built only on a particular or single attribute. Sometimes we may build index on a set of attributes put together. That is called a search key, um, composite search key. So these are all variants of uh, indexes that we can build. And in the remaining parts of the indexing, uh, uh, we'll study how these indexes are stored uh, in hashing, through hashing, and through graph-based structure of B plus trees.